So glad to have you with me here on the Word of the Week this week. Oh, that we have a great one. It found in Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3. Actually, one of my favorite verses. It says, Therefore, with joy you shall draw water out of the wells of salvation. Boy, the prophet's hitting it right on the spot with this verse right here. He's saying that whatever we're doing in life, whether it's serving at the church, at our job, in our family, I mean, even something as simple as going on vacation, which can be even stressful at times. So often we find ourselves involved in activity, but it isn't with joy. And we find it very difficult to, to, to draw from the peace of God, the joy of God, the strength of God. And we come encumbered with, we let the circumstances get in, and we let the, the things that we see in the natural get to us and get into our space. And the prophet here is saying, with joy you shall draw water. You know, sometimes it's just better to take a step back and recognize, hey, you're still alive, you got strength, you got your health, and it's a privilege to serve. It's a privilege to be able to go on vacation. It's a privilege to be able to get a paycheck. It's a privilege to be able to, you know, all of that. It's just so important. And then begin to get back. Let the bubbles begin to come back up inside of you. I mean, let carbonation begin to rise inside of you. That, you know what, what am I thinking? I'm still here. I just, I'm going to have another birthday. You know, I'm still married. My children are healthy. My child's coming through this surgery with flying colors. I'm, I'm getting a raise. Uh, all of these, sometimes we just get lost at looking at the wrong thing and it steals the joy. And so we go to work, but it's drudgery. We go to church, but it's drudgery. I got to go teach Sunday school. I got choir practice. I got to rehearse with the band. You know, I got to go visit so-and-so. And pretty soon, we don't realize it, and we've lost the joy of drawing from the wells. It's not well, but the wells of salvation, the healing, the strength, the favor. God gave you a land full of wells that's available to you, and He wants you to begin to do it with joy. Make up your mind that you're not going to let a job, a person, a church, an assignment, steal the joy because if he steals the joy then all you have left is just an assignment that's no fun that's not god's fault that's your fault for not led for letting it overtake you greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world take a break take a step out take a day off recapture focus perspective then get back into it and say you know what i'm going to go to sunday school and teach that class with joy i'm going to go i'm going to go to choir practice with joy I'm going to go visit my mother-in-law and help her through whatever she needs help with joy. I'm going to go get my car at the garage and get it fixed with, I'm just going to draw water. I'm going to draw out of the salvation, of the wells of salvation, and I'm going to do it with joy. That's your word. No, no, no. That's your joyful word for the week.